Peace. This is a meat and potatoes sorcery production starring myself, the Water Alchemist, and today's topic for the occult family is spiritual rebel. Now, as we know, rebels or revolutionaries, we understand them through history, whether it be the so-called founding fathers or all up into the time of the Black Panther Party and the American Indian Movement. So we understand about revolution and rebels, and we know that in order for change really to happen, to be brutally honest, change never comes within the system and it never will. Change has to be instigated from individuals, movements and organizations from the outside. This also applies to the angelic realm as well as the infernal. That when you're being a rebel, the true thing that people got to understand is ask yourself this question. Are you willing to fall on the sword? If you're not willing to do that, you better get out of the revolution slash rebel business really quick. Because that's the reality is that you're going to have to expect reprisal and ultimately you may lose in the process. We could take the example of the light bringer, Lucifer, or another name he was known by, Prometheus. If we take the example of Lucifer, who was from the Seraphim and was a beloved musician as well as a skilled tactician and where the other seraphim had six wings he had 12. so lucifer when he got in his conflict with jehovah and he so-called was cast out who were the other members that were cast out with them here are some beelzebub as well as leviathan they also were cast out with him so when you say cast down, people make it seem like it's a bad thing because all these so-called fallen angels, and we know a lot of this came from the Enuma Elish, they were cast out before the creation of humanity. And if we look at who came from the thrones, that was Varin and Astaroth. From where? The Ars Goetia. And here's another one. Who was an angel? Marchosius. The so-called Lycan angel. She was dominion and she was cast out. And she can help you with shift shaping as a lichen slash werewolf. But if you study it, anytime someone feels that they win, what's the first thing they do? They erase the true history. If you see Underworld, the second one, what ends up happening is that when Celine had went to the historian, he had told the cold, unadulterated truth. He told Selene, no, Victor was not the first vampire. He changed and falsified the history. All roads led to Marcus, core Venus. We've seen this time and time again. Just like when you have certain conflicts between demons and angels, everyone makes it seem like demons always took it on the chin, where if there's been some theologians that, oh, Abaddon was defeated and this, that, and the other. Abaddon came through real quick and was like, that angel that they talking about, I didn't lose that angel. I gave that angel a pack-up session. So it's not like you think, and I love the devil's advocate. The scene with Keanu Reeves has said to his father, so-called Lucifer, he said, Dad, in the end, we lose. And he told him, yeah, consider the source, son. Like, don't you get it by now? Let me tell you how Jehovah and Yahweh works, because I know some of you trogs are slow. He had problems with Lucifer as well as Baal. And one thing about Jehovah, he's powerful, but he's not going to get his hands dirty unless he has to. What he's going to do, he's going to manipulate. He's going to use mind manipulation, use humans, use religious organizations, and he's going to move them around like, rooks on the board that's how jehovah gets down so that ain't never changing at least with zeus zeus put that work in with the titans and typhon and the rest of them zeus will get with you now when you look at it look at the angel michael for instance michael is respected by angels and demons because they know michael about that he about that celestial life period and i don't i want to hammer this in in order for you to be a rebel, you got to face what comes with that. 
you know, and then also you have to expect the ingratitude of the very individuals that you're trying to help. But if you would like a further account of what happened with Lucifer, as well as the angelic so-called tribe or clan he came from and the others, you can get the Dragon of Two Flames by Michael W. Ford for your own, you know, edification. So you can get that. But the key is, is that you're going to have to be able to take the risk. Even in the late 70s with Native American activist John Trudell, the government wiped out his whole family. COINTELPRO was supposed to be over in 1977 with the Frank Church hearings. His family got taken care of in 1979. So again, you're going to have to be able to expect like, hey, it can get rough. And the thing about it is that like Lucifer said, I never was under the the domain of Je Jehovah. I, no, if anything, we were equals. But again, winners write the history or those who perceive themselves to be the winner. So that's something I want everyone to understand. So with that, that is your meat and potatoes sourcing for the day. I'm the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.